welcome to MSB lecture series on the chemistry of main group elements. Uh, in my previous lecture, I was discussing about the chemistry of group 16 uh, hydrides. So, let me continue uh, the discussion uh, on hydrides and related species. Uh, I have given uh, enthalpy of formation of uh, various hydrides of group 16 elements. Uh, one can see clearly here uh, H2O it is minus 241.8 kilojoules per mole, whereas for hydrogen sulphide it is minus 20.1. In case of selenide it is plus 85.8 and also in case of telluride it is plus 154.4. These values indicate the relative stability of uh, these hydrates. The stability of hydrates decreases down the group. That means, this uh, dihydrides uh, of the type H2E are known for all group 16 elements, but become increasingly unstable on going down the group very similar to EH3 uh, in case of uh, group 15 elements and EH in case of group 17 elements like HCl, HBr, HI. Okay. The trends are very, very similar. The high boiling point of water uh, is essentially due to the very strong hydrogen bonding which gives complex structures in both solid and solution states. In contrast to water H2S, H2SE and H2T that means sulphur, selenium and tellurium hydrates are highly toxic foul smelling gases. Water undergoes self ionization with an equilibrium constant of 10 to the power of minus 14 at 25 degrees centigrade that I showed you in my previous lecture. Acids are substances which increase the concentration of H3O plus while bases increase the concentration of OH minus. So, water can act as acid as well as a base. If you are curious to know the IUPAC name of H2O, it is not water, H2O should be called as oxane and H2S yes, should be called as sulphane and similarly H2SE should be selenine and H2TE should be called as tellurane. Okay. Let us look into chalcogen anions, all the chalcogens form anions of the type E2 minus whether it is oxide, sulphide, selenide or telluride by double deprotonation of the hydrates that is H2E. Okay. Uh, general method of preparation involves the direct combination of the elements with the metals. For example, 2 Na plus selenium gives Na2SE. Okay. One can also prepare the telluride and also the sulphide. Okay. So, why they form dianions? By forming these ions, the chalcogens attain noble gas electronic configuration. It is very simple. To start with, all chalcogens have S2P4 electronic configuration. By the addition of two electrons, the electronic configuration will become S2P6. That would be similar to the next inert gas electronic configuration. So, E2 minus, if we take, okay, this is isoelectronic with uh, uh, halide ions, and also it is isoelectronic with uh, N3 minus and P 3 minus. So, all of them have N S 2 N P 6 electronic configuration. Okay. The tendency of formation of the corresponding anion is essentially to attain N S 2 N P 6 electronic configuration. So, that means next the question is why E2 minus anions become increasingly unstable going down the group. Due to the increase in size, the electrons are less tightly held, so oxidation occurs more readily. As uh, we go down the group, the size of the 
atoms increases as a result added electrons are less firmly held by nucleus as a result they tend to be reducing in nature. So, they get oxidized. Okay. Many compounds containing E 2 minus are water sensitive especially for group 1 and group 2 metals and the degree of hydrolysis is greater in the case of selenium and tellurium. For example, if you take Na 2 S and if you treat with water it forms NaSH plus NaOH. Similarly, Na2 tellurium on treatment with water it forms telluride plus hydrogen tellurium hydride plus 2 NaOH. Sulfides and selenides of soft polarizable heavy metals such as cadmium, lead, mercury often occur naturally or moisture stable and precipitate readily when H2S or H2S is passed through an aqueous metal ion solution. For example, Pb2 plus in aqueous medium when it is treated with hydrogen sulfide. it forms PBS plus 2H. Solid state chemistry of metal oxides, sulphides and selenide is quite extensive and it is any discussion on these uh, compounds is beyond the scope of this course. Okay. So, uh, cationic onion ions that is H 3 E plus quite well known. For example, hydronium. So, H 3 E minus ions and uh, of course, when it is O it is called oxonium ion. This is H 3 O plus So, cationic onium ions of this type are known. Uh, a typical uh, example is oxonium H 3 O plus. Although H 2 S and H 2 S C have lower basicity compared to water, uh, one can also make the corresponding H 3 S plus and H 3 S C plus. Uh, but by using very strong acids such as HSBF6. Of course, HSBF6 can be prepared by treating uh, HF with SBF5. Okay. So, here uh, H2S when it is treated with HF and SBF5, it forms H 3 S and S P F 6. Okay. So, this is how the sulfonium uh, cation can be generated. Organic derivatives of these sulfonium salts are widely known. For example, M E 3 O plus salts are quite reactive and are widely used as reagents for transferring methyl groups or they are called methylating reagents. Of course, if you open any organic textbooks, you find the application of this Me 3 O plus as a methylating agent. All peroxo group containing compounds are oxidizing agents used as bleaching and sterilizing agents. No compounds are known which have greater than 2 oxygens in a chain terminated by hydrogen atoms such as such as H O O O H, it is restricted only to H O O H that is hydrogen peroxide. 
but related fluorine containing compounds uh, having more than 2 oxygen atoms in a chain are known. For example, this is known F 2 O 4 and similarly C F 3 these compounds are known where we have uh, something like this 3 oxygen atoms in a row and here we have 4 oxygen atoms are there. In contrast sulfur, selenium and tellurium hydrides and anions uh, can have E E bonds. A number of hydrates are known which contain uh, S S or S C S C linkages terminated by hydrogen are known. Okay. So, longest one is found for sulfur say H 2 S n where n can be 8. So, that means essentially H S 8 H something like this. Since sulfur has a strong tendency to form long chains uh, it is not unusual. Okay. And polysulfane mixtures are also known. For example, S n 2 minus when it is treated with 2 H plus. So, it can form ok. So, here as I said n can be anywhere between 2 to 6. So, polys however, polysulfanes are unstable give the element and H 2 E. So, this one essentially decomposes to give the sulphide uh, the corresponding one plus elemental chalcogen. So, longer chain polychalcogenated anions of sulfur, selenium and tellurium are prepared by reaction of an alkali metal with the element in non aqueous medium. We should remember strictly these reactions has to be carried out in liquid ammonia. For example, 4 N A plus 5 T E in liquid ammonia gives N A 2 T E 2 plus N A 2 T E 3. Similarly, cesium sulphide when it is treated with uh, sulphur in liquid ammonia it forms C S 2 S 5. Now, let us look into the inter chalcogen compounds that means, let us look into the dioxides of uh, sulphur, selenium and tellurium. In fact, dioxides of sulphur, selenium, tellurium and polonium are known. They are essentially formed by heating the elements in air. One typical example is S 8 Okay, this is a typical interchalcogen compound. So, dioxides have different structures and SO2 is a covalent substance and SeO2 has an infinite covalent chain structure in the solid state. I will be showing the structure later, but in gas phase it is very similar to SO2 whereas, tellurium oxide and polonium oxide have ionic structures. This is again due to the increase in metallic structures going down the group and the tendency for only the lighter elements to form E double bond X that is pi bonding. So, heavier ones they lack because of mismatch of the orbitals this double bonds would not be effective. Uh, this is another reason uh, due to the increase in the metallic uh, or ionic nature of uh, the bonds in tellurium oxide as well as polonium oxide. The most important oxides of sulfur are SO2 and SO3, but there are also a number of unstable oxides. Sulfur dioxide is manufactured on a large scale by burning sulfur 
in the laboratory SO2 may be prepared by following reaction that I am going to write. So, in the laboratory SO2 can be prepared by treating Na to SO3 with 2 HCl that leads to the formation of SO2 plus 2 NaCl plus H2O. Some other methods uh, utilized in the preparation of SO2 are essentially calcium sulphate you know, when it is treated with carbon at 1620 Kelvin it forms CaO plus SO2 plus CO or treatment of Fe S2 with oxygen leads to the formation of Fe2O3 plus 8SO2. Essentially here uh, the roasting of sulphide is essentially to convert into the corresponding oxide so that carbon can be used as a reducing agent to get pure metal. The structure of sulfur dioxide I am sure you are all familiar with it okay. and one can also write like this. Okay. So, here uh, SO bond distance is 143 picometer whereas, this angle OSO angle is 119.5 degrees. So, sulfur dioxide reacts with oxygen, fluorine, chlorine. In case of fluorine and chlorine it gives uh, oxy halides such as SO2, X2. In aqueous solution, it is converted to only a small extent uh, to form sulfurous acid. Aqueous solutions of H2SO3 contain significant amount of dissolved SO2. Uh, oxidation of SO2 by atmospheric oxygen is very slow, but is essentially catalyzed by vanadium pentoxide. So, in the manufacture of sulfuric acid, gaseous SO3 is removed from the reaction mixture by a passage through concentrated sulfuric acid in which it dissolved to form oleum. On a small scale SO3 can be prepared by heating oleum and SO3 structure is something like this. Of course, one can also write uh, resonance structures. SO3 reacts with the HX to form 
HSO 3 x where x equals F or C L or it can react with Lewis base to form an adduct where L equals a typical Lewis base. It can be pyridine or N PPH 3. Okay, with H2O, it forms H2SO4. In fact, uh, when we cut onion, irritation will be there uh, and tears comes in the eyes. It is essentially because when we cut onion, a chemical called propane thioliaceous oxide is uh, released. So, that will react with another enzyme to form SO3 that is liberated when SO3 starts moving towards eyes, uh, moisture in the eyes will react with SO3 to form H2SO4 and, and then this H2SO4 starts irritating our eyes. Uh, in order to dilute this one, eyes produces more and more tears and this is because of uh, the formation of sulfuric acid uh, uh, while cutting onion. So, the tears comes and of course, one can avoid this one by cutting onions uh, and putting in water for some time or keeping a candle next to the place where onion is being cut. So, that what happens this uh, uh, flame essentially uh, deflects SO3 away so that it does not reach our eyes. The structure of uh, uh, tetrahalides uh, is given here. You can see here uh, this is for SO2 and this is for SCO2 as I said it has a chain structure in the solid state. This is how oxygen bridging occurs and it has a chain structure. Some pi bonding is sacrificed to provide extra sigma bonding. This is true for different structures of CO2 and SiO2 as well. EO3 are known for sulfur, selenium and tellurium that is SO3, SeO3 and TeO3 are known. SO3 in the gaseous phase is a planar molecule. In the solid state forms several different structures that you can see here. In the solid state it has this structure and also it can have a structure like this. So, the dioxides of selenium, tellurium, polonium can be prepared by direct reaction of the elements. Selenium dioxide is a white solid that sublimes at 315 degree centigrade. It has a polymeric structure in the solid state. It is thermodynamically less stable than SO2 and tellurium oxide uh, and is reduced to selenium on reaction with NH3. N to H 4 R aqueous SO 2. Let me write this equation for example, 3 SeO 2 when it is treated with uh, ammonia, liquid ammonia It is used as an oxidizing agent in organic chemistry and the structure of selenium oxide uh, will be something like this. So, it continues of course, we should remember it has a lone pair as well here. So, tellurium dioxide occurs naturally as the mineral tellurite. Bitter tellurite has a layer structure in which TeO4 units form dimers. Synthetic tellurite consists of similar TeO4 units that share all vertices to form a three dimensional rutile like structure that is rutile is TiO2 uh, something like this. Ok. 
okay so this is t o4 twice in beta telluride okay so uh, in case of alpha telluride the structure is slightly different this is in alpha telluride teo2 okay so polonium dioxide exists as yellow form with the fluoride structure and the red tetragonal form so selenium trioxide unlike so3 or teo3 is thermodynamically less stable than the dioxide it is a white hygroscopic solid and sublimes at 100 degree centigrade and decomposes at 165 degree centigrade in the solid state the structure is based on a c4o12 tetramer let me write it but it is monomeric in the vapor phase it has something like this so sco3 four times so teo3 is more stable made by heating alpha teo3 or uh, tellurium oh six times in oxygen hexahydroxy tellurium okay tellurium trioxide exists as the yellow alpha teo3 which is prepared by dehydration of teo h six times so also we have oxy halides in case of sulfur selenium and tellurium so let me discuss the oxy halides of uh, heavier uh, group 16 elements in my next lecture until then have a pleasant reading of group 16 chemistry thank you